Welcome to the ASVIC TV coverage from Faulkner Park in Melbourne, where we look at the invitational events alongside the 2015 50 km Championship. For the men, the 20 km was led out by Japan's Osamu Fujisawa and Quentin Rue from New Zealand, closely followed by Glenn Huntley's Ridian Cowley and then Jay Felton from New South Wales. Rue was soon out front by himself, with Cowley now in second and Fujisawa dropping back to third. Training one for Osamu at this stage. Osamu, of course, is the fastest man in the whole field. Coming through the field was Bodonga's Michael Hosking. Having not walked for 15 years after a strong junior career, and with only three months training, he was showing plenty to make the crowd take notice. Rue passed through 10 kilometres in 41 minutes 14. Will be about 41 14. Ridian Cowley, second place, 42.05. That's a very good time for Ridian. Quentin Rue increased his lead over Cowley, while Hosking moved into third after Fujisawa withdrew at Go halfway. Now that's uh, 1.14.16. So I suspect Ridian's going to finish probably around 84.5 to 84.40. Rue went on to win in a time of 1 hour 22 and 58 seconds, a New Zealand Olympic qualifier. Cowley was second in 1 hour 24 minutes and 35, a World Cup qualifying time. The impressive re-emergence of Michael Hosking was the standout, third in 1 hour 26.16, his first 20 kilometre race and a World Cup qualifier as well. Uh, time was just under 83 minutes, um, which is enough to get me to the Olympics, so yeah, ha happy, happy enough with that. So you've now got qualifiers in both 20k and 50k, you must be feeling pretty comfortable and pleased at this stage. That's right, yep, it's always nice to go into Christmas uh, not having to worry about uh, qualifying for the big races in the following year, so it's just a, going to be a case of uh, getting, getting fit, keeping training uh, and, and really focusing on the big picture, for, uh, which is Rio Olympics next year. For the women, 2012 Olympian Regan Lamble of the Melbourne Uni Club went to the lead with Tanya Holiday from South Australia. The chasing pack was led by Gillian Hosking from the ACT. By four kilometres, Lamble had established a significant lead. Holiday was a clear second, with New Zealand's Alana Barber on her own in third place. Then a pack led by Tasmania's Stephanie Stigwood, which included Ballarat pair Rachel Talent and Kelly Ruddick. At 10 kilometres, Lamble passed through in a very fast 44.28. And the time is 44.28. That's fantastic. I'll tell you why that's fantastic, that's what it's about. Tanya, of course, is a 91 minute 20k walker. She'll be one of the walkers we'll be looking at as one of the... By 12 kilometres, Stigwood had moved through the field to pass both Holiday and Barber to move into second. At the bell, Lamble was a long way in front. Stigwood was still holding down second, Barber was third. Lamble finished in a time of 1 hour 30 minutes and 45, an Olympic qualifier and only 42 seconds outside her PB from the 2012 Olympics. Stephanie Stigwood took 3 minutes 30 off her previous best, her 1 hour 32 and 22 seconds, also an Olympic qualifier. Alana Barber was next, setting a New Zealand record and Olympic qualifier with her 1 hour 32 minutes and 50 seconds. 
30-40. Now, that's only about 30 seconds outside your PB. After a four-year break and only three or four months of training, what a comeback. Yeah, it was really good. Um, I think it's kind of refreshed me a little bit, having the break. So I, it was mainly for kind of, I think I was just a bit mentally drained after a few years of really hard training um, post-London, kind of. I uh, wanted to try and do a few other things with my life for a little bit, finish my uni degree, and then, um, yeah, got back on the horse with the walking, and I'm really enjoying it, which I think has made a huge difference to my motivation, and, um, yeah, physically feeling really good as well, refreshed. Yeah, it would be awesome to hopefully break 130. Um, if I can do it in February at the Olympic trials, that would be amazing, but obviously um, next year, I think at some point it would be wonderful to go sub-90, and, um, yeah, I guess I've still got a lot of work to do, though, but that's all good. It's really exciting, hopefully, to um, get close to the 90-minute mark anyway. Well, I did an hour 32.52, I believe, um, which is eight seconds off um, the Olympic, under the Olympic B standard for New Zealand. So that was the most important thing that I could get out of today's race, um, was just getting under one hour 33. Um, so, yeah, I couldn't be happier. It's New Zealand record, it's a PB, and it's Olympic B standard. And I still had, you know, seven seconds that I could have slowed down somewhere, so... <laughs> For the juniors, there was a 10 kilometre race. For the men, Collingwood's Adam Gaganis took the early lead, with Nutterwadding's Kyle Swan. For the women, Zoe Hunt of the ACT was out front early. Another Nutterwadding walker, Taylor Page Billington, was next. At six kilometres, Garganis and Swan were still together, with New South Wales' Tyler Jones keeping a close eye on both of them. Into the last two kilometre lap, and Jones had broken it open, leaving Swan and Garganis in pursuit. Jones crossed the line in 42 minutes 48, a 36 second PB and a World Junior Qualifier. Swan just edged out Garganis both walking PBs and also World Junior qualifying times. Not to be left out, Zoe Hunt also taking home a World Junior qualifier. 47 minutes 41 was a PB by over two minutes. Taylor Page Billington was next, 51 minutes 15. In the final race we look at, the Junior 5 kilometres saw Eliza Clark of the Diamond Valley Club take the early lead. Corey Dixon and Hayden Wamsley, both from the Knox Club, were the other starters. Clark finished in 25 minutes 53. Dixon, 26 minutes 28. And Wamsley, 27 11. Keep watching Atsvic TV for more athletic action.